Today I'm going to talk about mixing RAM speeds. Can you? Should you? And what are the effects? Uh, we're going to find out. I have some 3000 megahertz RAM in this computer, 16 gigabytes, and I'm going to add another 16 gigabytes of some 3600. Same brand, same model, just a faster speed and lower latency, and we're going to see what happens. So right now we're going to go in here and look at the numbers currently. We'll add some sticks in there and check out the numbers afterwards. Let's go. So if you look right here, we're currently running 3066 megahertz on our RAM with the two 8 gigabyte sticks in there. So we're going to add the other ones. They're 3600 megahertz. We're going to see we still run at 3000 megahertz. They work together. So here's our latency for the 3000 megahertz RAM that's currently in there. The timings we have 15, 17, 17, 35. The 3600 we're going to add is 18, 19, 19, 39, I believe, which the higher the number, the more latency. So slower, but really negligible because we're going to add those 16 gigabytes that should help speed up my rendering and working through my timeline when I edit. All right, so as we saw, everything worked great first startup. So now we're back in the BIOS. Just gonna look at these timings, and yes, we did go to 16, 19, 19, and 35, which 16 is not bad considering this is the 18 stick of 32. So, and we're still right where we were, 3065. So this has worked out great. All right, so there we have it. We can definitely mix RAM speeds. Um, you're gonna have the lower speed of the different RAM sticks is will be the max that you can run for all of them because they have to run the same speed. Uh, so you know, even though I put the 3600 megahertz RAM in here, it's gonna run at 3000 like the other sticks. Um, the latency is slower for the 3600, so the 3000 sticks are going to run a little slower on the latency, but as you saw, it wasn't that bad. These sticks that I bought were actually cheaper. Same model, of course, are on Amazon. The 3600 was cheaper than the 32. So I figured I'd buy it, take a test, make a video, see what our results were. Now, what could be an issue and you could come across probably is if you buy sticks that are a big number difference and they have a different voltage. You'd probably end up having to manually change the voltages, but in this case, you know, we're 600 megahertz apart. Everything worked perfectly, one boot, and that's it. So if you found this useful, please give this video a like so YouTube shows it to more people. And thanks for watching.